So now I want you to think about your, your most difficult circumstance in your life currently. What rights are you hanging on to there? Problems at work, do they disrespect you, not understand you? Problems at home, in your marriage, in your personal life, with your kids, are they not turning out the way you wanted? Issues uh, somewhere else, just a sense that uh, you're not going somewhere, or your, your destiny, your purpose, you're still searching, all of that. Whatever it is that is the biggest issue in your life right now, I want you to imagine the control that you're seeking to exert over that situation. And then I want you to imagine giving up your rights to a certain outcome. Lord Jesus Christ, I am willing to be rejected. Lord, I'm willing to not be appreciated. I give up my right to be understood. I give up my right to a certain outcome. I give up my right to success as the world defines it because I'm a success in you just being your child. Lord, I am willing for my marriage to fall apart. I'm also willing to stay in it forever. I'm open. I give up my right to a certain outcome. I give this situation completely to you and I free myself from expectations and I give up my rights. Now, what do they owe you? Man, they owe you better treatment. They owe you respect. They owe you a listening ear. They owe you an apology. They owe you a do-over. And they're never going to pay. So what if you cancel the debt, release them from expectations, and give up your right to a certain outcome? That's what Jesus did. And when he says, let this mind be in you, it's not some sort of big sacrificial move that you got to make this morning so that you're super spiritual. No, you can totally hang on. Hang on to that control. Hang on to that resentment, that bitterness. How's it going? You can hang on to it. God's okay. I'm okay. We're all okay if you do. But there's a huge advantage, isn't there? Who's it for? It's not for that guy who's hurt you. The benefit is for you. I give up my right to a certain outcome. I release myself from these expectations so that I'm not consumed with control and bitterness and resentment. All I'm saying is this attitude of Jesus giving up his rights, it's pretty cool. It's also the prototype for an attitude we can have every day.